I'll be leaving at 9 o'clock after I eat my Egg McMuffin I got yesterday. Like a breakfast thing. It's a breakfast sandwich I got yesterday. Um, from a quick trip, not uh, McDonald's. First I'm gonna go pee. And where I'm gonna go is, well, you'll see. So, ah, oh, here it is. Yep, here it is, right here. I'm gonna nuke it first, okay? So, you guys I'm gonna get my hair cut I'm overdue I checked on my videos the last time I got it cut was um, March 11th I just had to go right away in the morning before it gets too hot like in the 90s so I'm, well, that's why I'm going right away drink at Cordova's or something. Uh, uh, uh. Are they even open? Oh yeah, they open at 10.30. Oh, it is so hot out there. It feels like a desert. I'm not kidding. I couldn't wait that long. Um, I'm at Dad's. We had to go trip. I was gonna go to Cordova, but they aren't open until 10:30. Yeah, they said they'll call me. I had to reset my timer for the bus. that short time in that heat I feel like I need another nap. Not funny. I have to wait at 9.48. That was at 9.48 I was there and they said that and it's like 10.20. And so let's get going over there in case. You just go in and say maybe they'll let you sit down. Often. No they, they don't allow it because of the COVID. Oh my God. 
Imagine if it was raining. What are you gonna do? Let a poor person get soaked? Hi guys, the hairstylist in there knew um, my mom's best friend's son. She knows uh, Gail's son. And get this, her name is Gail too. And I got my hair cut, finally! Oh my god, the last time I had a coat was uh, March 11th. Oh, dad is picking me up again. And then in about like 30 minutes from now, <laughs> there's hair on my arm. 30 minutes from now, I will, uh, I will um, catch the bus at his place. I wonder what that song is called. Pour me another one. Make it a small one. I I you. Pour me another one. Make it a small one. I gotta look it up. Freddie Manuel sang it. And then he sang, um, Cecilia, but breaking my heart, but shaking my comfort and Sadie. He'll be here soon. You better go to the bathroom when I'm at his place. Take number two. Alright, you guys, um. It is now 11. Oops. I'm trying to edit or name something. It's now 11 a.m. Oh, I heard about that. The police department was um, diagnosed with COVID. I'm just renaming a file right now. I've got two files I gotta rename. Yeah. That song is called Castaway and it's by the band called Zach Brown Band. I heard, first heard it with that guy who sang at my downtown square in 2015. Pour me another one. Make it a strong one. I suppose I should go out there. I've got little strands on my hair. <laughs> my hair fell on my arm. I got most of it off. But yeah. I'm gonna way up by the corner there. Behind where dad is sitting. Yeah, I took my poop. Did I mention I had to do that? And now, um, I'm gonna clean up my fridge. Okay. Look at it. It's just a nightmare ready to happen. There's hardly anywhere to put anything. Look at that. I don't want to put anything. What the hell? So I'm gonna place it, place my phone on the, uh, shelf over there and I ordered from Amazon um don't tell mom the babysitter is dead for like four dollars I'll be getting it tomorrow so I'm gonna clean up the table too guys but uh first I want to write about um my hair
haircut and everything in here and then I will uh, get going with cleaning out the refrigerator cleaning this up because I know my beauty clear is hiding in here somewhere I know I put it on here so I'm sick and tired of like what is this where is that where's my bed da, da, da. I gotta get it clean guys no joke so relieved that I took a shit sorry about my TMI God, again, I forgot to turn off the light. I had to take another shit. I should take Tums. Um, instead of the bookshelf over there, I'm gonna just gonna place it by the window. Okay, so it can have a better view. view. I can't. So V, now that you and Kev are over, this means we can have a little corner. What the hell are you talking about? We're not over. Well, the way you were just ogling Linus. I'm a bartender. He's a customer. I'm only about 20 pounds away from looking like you. And who's Funhouse Mirror? Hey! What you doing? Hey, I think I screwed up everything with Gus. Oh. That's not with Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy Steve Jimmy? He's back and I'm just hearing about this now? Your own shit. Yeah, she's living upstairs. Is that your business to tell? You moved out? No. Yeah, you guys, um... When I wake up from my nap, yes, I'm going to go down for a nap, but I am going to finish cleaning. I clean off this table because of that movie is arriving tomorrow. I think I have it, the DVD player, over around here. So... I need to clean this to have something to play it on, so. And um, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to cook my meal for, eat a little, because I have a feeling I'll be hungry. Last time I ate was at 9 a.m. So I'm going to go down for a nap, because I feel like I really, really need it, so. Um, catch you later. Wow, at the cloud formation again. Anyway, I'm up. I'm gonna make my thing now. Peppers are on there too. This is the meat. Peppers. And then I'm gonna do the mushrooms.
I got the mushrooms in there now. Meat is still cooking. Now next I'm gonna wash the broccoli. Yeah, I'm going to boil the water now. Still cooking water. I'm going to use a full bag of noodles, okay? Because I'm going to not hardly go to the cafe. Those are the noodles, and I'll use that cheese, or could I use that cheese? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, guys, um, I have this cheese right here, and one cheese in there. I can use two, so these are these the pots that were also uh, two cheeses in here, and I'll use this. All the bag of this. It's gonna be done soon, guys. Just waiting for the water to boil. Often in a suicide, you have a note. Most people who contemplate suicide and commit suicide, they don't want to leave their family in the lurch. They want them to understand what happened. The note was probably about, you know, this big um, in all. So it was shrunk down really, really small. And I know that he wrote the note the day he disappeared. Because there were scraps in the trash can. The note starts out, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Right now, around the world, folks okay. today. I came into the city it's with done. everything. Oh, I gotta have it cooled down a little and bit. And I left with nothing. Mm. I just remember saying to my mom. Yeah. My best friend Ray thinks it's cool. My sister Annie thinks I'm a science project. I can't let anyone else know. Not even my parents. I know. The chemical plant was to find me and turn me into some experiment. But you know something? I guess I'm not so average anymore. I think Miss French hates me. What makes you say that? Well, she just. First day at a new school. Way ahead of you there. Does anyone know how to spell meteor? Disgust. Make sure Riley stands out today, but also blends in. When I'm through, Riley will look so good, the other kids will look at their own outfits and barf. Joy. Yes, Joy? You'll be in charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress. It's adorable. Oh, this old thing? Thank you so much. I love the way it pearls. Train of thought. Right on schedule. <laughs> Unload the daydreams. I ordered extra in case things get slow in class. Might come in handy. If this new school is full of boring, useless classes, which it probably will be. Oh, sadness. I have a soup.
I noticed that for two hours for a nap, but geez, I still feel tired yet, you know? I'm gonna go to bed soon, I guess. I am impressed with something. I had watched this old video from 2006 with today's date on it, and I am very impressed. I started a joke, which started the whole world crying, by the Bee Gees. Oh my god, I was so impressed. I tried singing it a while ago, like a minute ago, and I can't get, <laughs> get it all right. It's like, I don't know what's with me. It's like I need to have it in my head a couple of times, so maybe that's why it's on it impressive i don't know but you know i can't sing the whole song it sounds flat to me i must be tired so i'm gonna go to bed i guess did i say 2006 i meant 2016 sorry i guess you couldn't hear me properly maybe i did say 2016 but came out 2006 so yeah that's from 2016 video when i sing that but you know this is where it's confusing with my mental health. Yes, I do have OCD just a little bit, but I like that part of me because it's kind of like my talent. It's like if I want to learn a song for karaoke and I got to have the song replay and replay in my head to have it sound like how I want it to, you know, to have it sing for karaoke. You know what I mean? Get what I'm saying? Sorry if this is confusing. I'm gonna get ready for bed now. Tulu, your beanies, no hyperlapse. Bye. Good night. Yep. Come on, E, my special boy. I'm off to bed. I know I didn't clean up my table. Kitchen table, you're right. Table, table. Like I should have. It's not the kitchen table. If it was the kitchen table, this kitchen would be a lot bigger and it would be blue right there. <laughs> God, I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. It's the table table, dear. Again, no hyperlapse. I started a juice. Hi you guys, well, I'm gonna go pee, I've been up earlier, but then I went back to sleep, I was up since like 5.45ish I think, but then I went back to sleep for a couple of hours, but yeah, um, I'm gonna walk down to the cafe and get a skillet, and then for lunch I will just eat my pasta I made, 
and later later if I'm hungry later um, I'll open a can of Chef Laherty. So those are going to be the three options of the rest of Excuse me, the rest of the days I had a burp. Alright. <sighs> Pee time. Yeah, I thought my DVD player was right there. But turns out, where did I put it now? Oh, right here it is. <laughs> it's right here. So, but still, I'm going to clean this off. So I'm going to eat my stuff when I get back home. Clean this off, but I might need to clean off my memory card here. Internal drive, excuse me. Because, um, I'm running low on gigs here on my phone. Just saying, FYI. So, I have a little headache, which is weird. So. Take care, Bill. Yeah, and I bet that movie, what I ordered from Amazon yesterday, would arrive today by like uh, 11 o'clock at FedEx usually comes. What am I doing? I don't need my... There, hardly everybody, anybody comes at my door anyway. So yeah, um, I'll have until then to clean off my table. Whew, it's gonna be hot out there. And then I'll, uh, you know... Make sure I, yes, $10, I grabbed it. And then I'll watch that movie at 10 o'clock or something like that whenever I see that it arrived. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. It's from the 90s. Whew, it is bright out here. Yeah, I had to run back up and to my apartment and get my little notebook with my order on it. I want them to get the order wrong because the last time they only gave me two jellies one strawberry and one grape and I needed two of each four jellies and again it won't take me long probably 20 minutes no one is going to come in my apartment and rob me for example hardly ever anybody comes to my apartment all right, I got my food. Gotta carry this more better. Got my food. Hi guys. <laughs> so, that's the truck in the background over there, that big truck. So, I'm heading home. Catch you around Eeyore beanies, hee haw. Oh my god. I'm so warm. Yep. I got my skillet. I got it, I got it, I got it. See? Paradise Valley Mall. Wayne's Wigwam. Serving coffee, donuts, and smiles since 1980. Uh, we got eight seconds left. Basket takes us to OT. It's time we hitch our wagons to the horse we call Ray Alvarado. Get him the ball. We'll let Ray take us to the promised land. Let's get some hands. Break. Woo! All right, let's stay focused, boys. I smell victory. Let's do it. Butter's getting hard and the eggs are getting cold. It's Katie by the door time at Lafonso Ellis Memorial. So batten down the hatches because we got a real barn burn. I-19 O-64 I-23 N-44 Everyone get ready! N-31 Columns have dropped! Who got a bingo? I-20 Round over.
there are definitely certain topics that we need a little practice talking to the girls about. Annie, what is it? Um, I have a little problem. What else is new? Look, can we just go somewhere private to talk about it? I'm really not in the mood right now. Girls? What was that? There's nothing, Mom. We'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Collecting the trip, okay. Okay, then you better grow up. Christopher. Jeffrey. In order for the healing to begin, it's important that you be honest and tell me where you hide your booze. Under the cushions, back in the closet, I know all the tricks. I threw it out. You... Do you mind if I look around in case you missed a bottle? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Where do you work? I'm a vet tech for the city. A delivery man. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll see you. Then, oh. I am frosty. <laughs> it's important that you be honest and tell me where you hide your booze. Under the cushions, back in the closet, I know all the tricks. My fucking life at hand. Para español, marca 9. Thank you for calling Best Buy and an effort to provide a safe experience for our customers and employees. We have made changes to our store hours and how we serve you. Our store hours vary by location. Customers are allowed into most stores. Appointments are required for car installation and geek squad repairs. Players. It's just a matter of getting them the load on here. I didn't kill her, Zach. She died in her sleep. Probably turned on her whistle. She doesn't look dead. That's because it just happened. So you can't really tell. Like a MacGyver? Um, what should we do with the body? Call an ambulance, call the cops, I don't know. I mean, they're gonna come and get her, they're gonna ask us a lot of questions. Uh, they'll probably blame us. They'll definitely call mom. She'll blame us. She'll hop the next flight home and then she'll be in her face. We won't want to be home. Or either.
That's the only way. What is that? What? That yelling. What is that? Well, that's Roach. Roach? That's who Daddy's hunting. See, Daddy hates Roach because he got out of the cellar and into the walls. And now Daddy can't find him. <laughs> office door unlocked and that's where they are i'm not allowed on the premises so that's where you come in is it legal for me to take your files out of the plant technically no then i'll have to pass vince i can get fired for that dave if you don't come i'm not kidding i'm serious v do not fucking do that you guys are happy and you can be happy again but not if you go fuck someone else and the two of you I mean, I can't handle it if you can't figure this shit out, okay? And and maybe that's not fucking fair, but you guys, you're Kevin V, so figure it out. It's not fair. Fine. You married too, Fiona, and you were happy too, and then you fucked Jimmy, so figure out your own shit instead of putting it all on me. was saving was his strength. He never left the bed, and his barking did nothing to summon help. And I had to face facts I was probably going to die. But before she did, she was in for one more surprise. Lulu standing over her. Oh, yeah. And all I could see was her head over my face, which is quite a sight. As quickly as she had appeared, Lulu disappeared. And I could hear her kind of trundling off, but I was very concerned with myself at the time. I had no idea what she was doing. What Lulu was doing was leaving the trailer through a doggy door, crossing the front yard, and laying... I was finding some apps that were like, well, this one... Perfect if it were like this way, right? Um, and then it would be like for DID... With the feature that would be like say and then there were other uh profile type apps but they they weren't for did and there was a lot of things that were very exclusive of, of using it for did and i was like well if it was this way it would be really cool because it was, it was just a mapping, or it could be used for you know all these other things and 
was, and I kept looking and Nine years until Rocky died of suicide at the age of 55 in 2009. Nowadays, the sisters often visit the Big Sky Ranch and meet with fans. Caroline Ingalls, Ma, Karen Grassley. My home is where you are, and you and the children are my family. Ma said in one of the episodes of the show, and it is still regarded as one of the best lines in the history of the small screen. The matriarch of the Ingalls family and a good neighbor to many Walnut Grovians, Carolyn Ma Ingalls. I mean, a little less attention to this. <gasps> I got a snap. What? I got a snap. Well, congratulations, Bridget. You're the talk of the town. It's from Team Snapchat. I don't have any friends. What? I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that some like weird way to plug your Snapchat or something? No. Nobody likes me. Are you like pregnant again? Because like you're about to start crying over this. I guess if I would just follow me on Twitter. Bro, quit promoting yourself. Okay. <laughs> this is not like no dude. Oh, can you guys add porn? Alright, you guys. I'm not happy with what I had today. Um, as you noticed, I was on Geek Squad um, hotline, and yes, I got everything working, and yes, it played, but still, I self-harmed before that. And I feel like I had gotten a lot more deeper, and that's my fear of all. Excuse me. So... The next time I get angrier, I'll have to call the crisis line because I might have to go into the ER if I'm getting that bad and I'm worked up. Okay? I need to keep myself safe, and I bet that what the crisis line would say when I would call. Because I was feeling very enraged over the fact that I was trying my best to have something played in this, but it wouldn't play. No matter how hard I tried and everything, it wouldn't play. So my caseworker says, call the 800 number for Geek Squad. I did, you know the rest of the story, and they got um, this thing from Microsoft Store called Any Player, and it works, as you had seen previously. So, this can't continue on. Yeah, this really can't continue on. I'm worried that if I harm myself, like self-harm, like, like that, what I do, I get so in so deep, I might hit a vein and I might bleed out without thinking because I get so angry. If someone was near me, like a friend, for example, staying over, I'd fucking attack. That's how mean I am. That's how mean I get. So it's a blessing that I don't have a criminal record right now. Or from my past either. It's a blessing that I haven't been in jail from my anger or outburst. Excuse me, I can't talk. I'm too tired here. And I'm going to go to bed soon too, so. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed soon, guys. Um, so as I was saying, um, I'm gonna try medication one last time, and then I'm gonna, with that, I'm gonna, tr um, look for a support group for anger management. Maybe my psychiatrist knows any, maybe my doctor in general knows any, like my primary doctor. I'll ask around, you know, keep asking around. I'll do anything in the nature 
I'll even look on Amazon for anger workbooks. I'll do that. And if nothing works, then I guess I'll have to have a criminal record then. Maybe that would be my wake-up call. I really don't know. I really don't know. Yep, maybe having a criminal record would be the best thing for me. Maybe I would say later, hey, I should have never gotten that angry. Now I can't find a job with a criminal record. Nobody would want to hire somebody with anger issues. Okay. Let that be a rule here of life. If I can't get my anger under control, it's going to be a very hard time finding a job and keeping a job. So, since I said I'm tired, I am. And I'm going to go to bed. No hyperlapse. And yes, I filmed a little bit outside a while ago because it was storming out there. <coughs> yeah, one last thought. No one would want to hire somebody with anger issues, okay? Not unless you have your anger under control. And I'm, and if you're very, very certain, like how I would be, then you can look for a job. Because um, if you're going to promise yourself, oh, the next time the person disrespects me, I'll say, you want me to fucking kill you? I will if you don't fucking shut the fuck up. That's very not normal. You can't talk like that. You can't threaten people like that if you have your anger escalate that high. You can't do that. So, I might be unemployed for a couple of years, probably to life, if I can't get my anger under control. So pray for me. You know, I can't always have a negative output on everything like if my boss is going to be rude i'll say shut the fuck up and mind your own fucking business that could get me fired like that you know i can't live like that because i'd be homeless if i wouldn't carry a good amount of money with me and you know because my rent goes up 90 dollars every time i have a job i'd be kicked out of here I'd be evicted because I wouldn't be able to pay my rent. So, another thing, I know I'm a sweet person. Deep down, when things are going my way, and that's another thing that I'm going to talk about. When things are going my way, I'm a sweet, caring person. You have all seen that side of me when I'm very sweet, very calm, happy. And at peace with myself and have with everyone. And I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm perfect. But if something goes wrong with my computer, if something goes wrong with a DVD player and I want it to play, homicidal thoughts, escalating rage, self-harm, I feel like I want to hurt somebody. If somebody was near me, they would have to leave, you know, or call the cops on me would be the best bet. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future if I would have somebody with me. So, so, whoever would be with me in the future will have to do what they have to do to keep me safe and to keep them safe. Because I fear I will hurt them so bad. Because, for example, if something goes wrong with a DVD player not working properly, that would flip me out so, so bad. I'm not joking you. I'm not kidding. It's like a 911 emergency, you know. It's like I'd hurt myself by biting, and I'd probably get too deep next, like I said, to where I'd have a gusher and bleed out and almost die yet. Bending an artery. I really gotta get my anger under control. Yeah, little stuff like that just sets me off. I don't know what to do anymore. So, I'm gonna get ready for bed now, okay? Oh, excuse me, burping. And, um, I don't know what exactly I wanna do tomorrow. I know I want to go to the bank to get $40 out for my Amazon card because I'm only down to $0.37 cents I looked. So, um, I think somebody 
said they're having a cookout for the uh, holiday. I don't know. I'll, I might go there if I feel like it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. And yeah, my final thought I might add is do I need to pray more? Um, instead of, how about, instead of once a day, like at night, should I try twice a day? And if that doesn't work, should I try three times a day? Like, remove my anger, I don't want it. I've been praying for that for like two full months or three months ever since COVID. Should I try that again? You know, I only done it like once a month every night. Every, every night before bed, you know. <sighs> kind of worked, but it's just, my anger is just free, more frequent now. I can't stand it, guys. And I hate to be hospitalized, you know, because that's the scary. Yeah, I'm just scared to death of being hospitalized. But if that's something I have to do, that's going to be the last resort. If medication won't help. If work phones, <coughs> excuse me, if workbooks won't help, if group therapy won't help, that's going to be the very last resort. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to say, drug me up and turn me into a zombie for all I care. I need to be fucking cured of my anger and that is going to be final. I'm not going to be labeled as saying I have autism and that's why I'm fucking angry. Me having autistic meltdowns. That shouldn't be an excuse. I need to nip this in the bud ASAP. And I don't want to have this continue on for the rest of my fucking entire life. Period. Yeah, if I choose to be hospitalized, then I'll have to have a few semesters off of college. Because I'm going to do college and be in a hospital and be all drugged up and doped up on drugs to control my temper. How am I going to be doing that? So, being hospitalized is a very, 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 very last resort. I'm going to, like I said, medication, group therapy, um, workbooks on Amazon, praying, and if all those don't work, then hospitalization. Because I'm at my wit's end. Pray really hard, my dear. Pray hard and pray with me. Because I would hate to be hospitalized and... I'm sorry for going on and on and on about this. I'm very, 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 very deeply sorry. But I mean it. Pray and pray hard for me. And I shouldn't be so angry all the time. There shouldn't be an excuse. Like, I think somebody commented in the way we passed 14 years ago, Oh, Nora's life is so easy. She doesn't have a job. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. Her life is so easy. Well, try to have autism spectrum disorder, okay? When things don't work for me, and if I feel disrespected, and if I feel my boundaries are crossed and overstepped, I fucking want to fucking kill people. And no, I don't do it in the moment. I don't attack people ever. I never had attacked people in all my life. But I fear it's getting escalating and getting more frequent and stuff. <sighs> I see my psych in eight more days. And I wish I could have it earlier so I can get this under control and get this settled. Okay, so I'm going to brush my teeth now. Sorry. But this one video, okay? Okay, one final thought. First off, thank you for getting this far in this video for those who ever had decided to watch this. But one final thought. Um, for those that know spiritual people, like if you go to church and stuff, <sighs> create a prayer chain, I think that's what they're called. 
this is like, this is between life and death. Like I said about the biting, I might hit a gusher vein and hurt myself. So please, please pray for me. This is between life and death. It's very serious. All right. I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks again for watching.